You know, Dartmouth is a team that's uh, young, like us, uh, very comparable um, in, in all aspects. And, uh, you know, we need to continue. I mean, it's it's got to be, we have to focus on ourselves, you know. I mean, we made some real progress last week. It's disappointing we couldn't close it out. But, you know, we ran the ball for over 200 yards. You know, we our offense started slowly but really came on in the second half, you know. We got to focus on put the ball in the end zone, you know, red zone success, defense, you know, don't give up the big play. You know, make the make the crunch the the third and one, fourth and one, you know. It doesn't matter who you're playing. We can do we can do those things. But uh, you know, Dartmouth, yeah, they've got they've got enough tools as anybody does to win in this this league. They're just they're just young and going through some growing pains. Finishing is is, is huge, but I don't I, I think we have some uh, uh, you know problem up front, you know, really is where we're not winning the battles, is we're not winning the battles on the line of scrimmage. Mm-hmm. And when you're not winning those battles on the line of scrimmage, I think that it just for an offense, it makes a lot of things you do ineffective. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you want to throw the ball, but yet the lanes, the passing lanes are clogged, so maybe your quarterback doesn't look as good. You know, you want to run the ball, but you can't get in anywhere because everything's getting squished and compressed, you know, so mm-hmm. yeah, so the, so the biggest thing offensively and defensively, we, we've recovered a little bit from it, but we went through a stretch there. Is you know, we need to get bigger and stronger, and and more athletic up front. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's uh, um, continuing to work the off-season program. We got one of the best guys in the country, um, and it's also recruiting. You know, we need to we need to you know bring in bigger guys because the guys we have, you know, they're trying they're trying doing everything they possibly can. You know, uh, we need to continue to look to upgrade and, and work with do everything we can with the guys we have but we have totally you know it's, it's unfortunately it's taken me five was it six years maybe but we've totally um, uh, revamped our recruiting system totally from top to bottom I mean, we've, we've done research other Ivy League teams we've talked to other you know coaches on campus who have been successful um, you know, we've talked to alumni who, who you know, are in. I mean, we've really put together a complete plan um, to revamp our recruiting. And, and you know, what's happened in the past is we've we've gotten great kids, but um, in terms of the Ivy League, you know, it's been you know, kind of Harvard, Yale. You know, they get they get the top, and then it's you know, and then we're fighting for, and we don't win a lot of those recruiting battles. So now. What we've finally had to say is, okay, that's fine, you know. We got to go find a Cornell type of kid, you know. We got to find the the kid who, who who wants to be here at our place and who and who may not want to be there, or maybe he doesn't fit that mold. So instead of doing so many head-to-head battles, we got to, you know, we, we've done a, a totally broad-based new approach to recruiting. We've had alumni who've committed to it this year to to help to fund it because we're tra- we're we're kind of reaching out into areas that we've never been in, like the you know, the heartland like Iowa, Minnesota, kind of people who fit more of our central California, you know, the, uh, some areas in Texas that haven't been touched. So we're, we're going to find uh, people that maybe aren't being recruited by those other schools, but are every bit as good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's really been a, you know, a, for the leadership plan went hand in hand with really developing a whole new recruiting model also. It all starts with the leader, right? I mean, you know... Uh, as uh, Julius said, and remember the Titans, attitude reflects leadership, right? So I mean, I, yeah, you're right. I've it all starts with me and the other co- with the coaches. We we have a staff meeting every day. In the first five minutes, you know, someone gets up and, and different coaches. We someone gives give something motivating. We need that right now. You know, the, the leaders need coaching too, and then we've got to bring that to the team. It's it's you know amazing that you mention it because that's all we talk about is look, you know five weeks, you know, or, or our deficiencies or our weaknesses, we can't focus on that. These players need us. They need us to be positive. They need us to be upbeat. And you know what? It, that helps you get out of yourself, too. I mean, it really, it helps me. It helps to style. Let's not feel sorry for ourselves. We got, a, we got a great job, great university. And these guys need us. I mean, they need us to, to show up and be, and be positive and say, hey, what are you going to do this week? You know, this is a new week. This week stands alone. What are you going to do to, you know, to have a great experience this week? And um, our coaches are up for that challenge, you know. But 
that's life, you know. It's it's every, everybody wants clarity and everything to go perfect, but that's not the way it is, mm-hmm. you know. And so our guys, w- while you know we're not winning enough games, they're learning something. Hopefully, something that they'll use the rest of their life. And we need to we need to lead them and um, our players and and uh, our leadership council. And, I mean, nothing's changed, you know. We have, you know, we talk about having faith and having guts, you know, and willingness to work hard. That's that's not changed, you know, but you know, the faith the part you hit now when you hit a stretch like this is faith doesn't um, help you get around problems, it helps you get through them. You know, I mean so there's no getting around it, man. We are what we've been the past couple weeks, you know, is is, you know, we, we had some games where we got mismatched in some areas, you know, it was up front for a couple games and then it was in the, you know, like Fordham, it was on the edges, you know, and we couldn't put it together. Last week we were, we were damn close to putting it together.